hello everyone we will continue the topic and in this video we will continue the add selection screen event in the previous video we have written the logic for validating the payment mode and we all know the purpose of add selection screen event is to validate the input for the best understanding i will put a break point i will put a break point in initialization event also i will put a break point in add selection screen also so that we all can understand fully that these events calls at some specific action or at specific time only they are not blindly calling because event always trigger at some specific action or at some specific time only now suppose i am running the program whenever i will run the program firstly which event will call initialization have you seen i am on which particular line 12th number line this logic is the part of which event initialization so firstly this logic will trigger and now whenever i will come out using f8 key you can see i have the selection screen or input screen before that which event called initialization and these default values came through which event add selection skills came through which event sorry initialization event now what i will do i will give a wrong value to the payment mode suppose suppose firstly i am giving a wrong value to payment mode now i am on selection screen or input screen now i am pressing enter have you seen when i pressed enter it means i performed a action on the selection screen or input screen now i am on which particular line i am on 20th number line this 20th number line is the part of which particular event at selection screen event because you perform some action on the selection screen or input screen so initialization event did not call which event call at selection screen now we pass which particular value but the payment mode we put x so it means it is not initial if condition is true now all these three conditions failed our payment mode is not c also our payment mode is not d also our payment mode is not n also it means this if condition is true and i am getting a message what is the message pass the correct payment mode pass the correct payment mode and have you seen control is still on the selection screen or input screen i gave the wrong value i got a message but still the control is on selection screen or input screen why why because we validated using which particular event at selection screen so whenever you are doing the validation using at selection screen event yes control will remain on the same screen selection screen or input screen if you are going for a wrong input now suppose we got a message pass the correct payment mode now suppose i am giving the correct value c i am pressing enter now you can see again at selection screen event called what is the value now c it means it is not initial yes now this payment mode is c payment mode is c it means this if condition is false this if condition is false and this message will not trigger and you can see i am on selection screen or input screen yes correct now we'll go for next most important understanding suppose i gave a wrong payment mode 
This is most important point. Now suppose I forgot to press enter. I forgot to press enter and I directly click on to this execute button. Now question to all of you. Yes. Will add selection screen event trigger? Yes. Add selection screen event trigger at that point also. Suppose many times what will happen? Customer will give the value, but they forgot to press enter, but they directly click on to execute button. Just see this execute button. Is this the part of your selection screen or input screen? Yes. Now user is performing. User is clicking on to execute button. Click is also a action on the selection screen or input screen. So there's nothing to worry. If we forgot to press enter and we are directly clicking on to execute button, still, still this system will call add selection screen event because this click clicking, we are clicking on to execute button and that is also a action. Whenever there is an action, which particular event will call add selection screen event will call. Now see, I have not, I have given the wrong value. I have not pressed enter, but whenever I will click on to this execute button, sys still system is calling which event first add selection screen because execute is also a action on the selection screen or input screen. Now your payment mode is X. Now this if condition is true because you put the payment mode other than C, D or N and we got the error. And after getting the error, control is still on the selection screen or input screen. This is the most, most important part. Why? Because we did the validation using add selection screen event. So always do the validation using add selection screen event only. So what is the summary of the video? We covered two to three most, most important points from the project perspective. Whenever you are passing the input, after that you want to validate the input so always, always do the validation using add selection screen event. Suppose you gave the input and you forgot to press enter. Suppose you are not interested to go for the enter, but if you are directly clicking on to execute button, still system will check that any input is correct or not. If you have because click is also a action. And whenever you are performing an action on the selection screen or input screen, which event is calling add selection screen event. So in the next video, we will start with our next event that is start of selection. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.